would you uh, pick up that deck and spread it face up across the table so all our friends viewing this around the world can see that it is just a regular deck and you've taken out any uh, advertising guarantee or yep. jokers from there, Pete, yeah? Yep, yep, no That's jokers right. here. Yeah, because I could work with my deck, but I want this to be with your deck, you see. Uh, you know, I just want to kind of take a day off, really, and relax, you know, from Zaro shuffles and push-throughs and pull-throughs, centre deal, you know, all those moves I can't do. <laughs> so here we go. Gather up the deck, yep. the face-up deck, keep it face-up and hold it in dealing grip for me. And there's more than one way to skin a cat. Now, for our overseas viewers who think, what the hell is Carry On about? There's more than one way to do a certain action. Yeah. For example, there's more than one way to mix cards. There's shuffling, there's dealing, and there's cutting. So to begin with, just start steadily dealing cards face up one at a time to the table. Deal them one after the other. And you can shuffle the deck at any point as well. Just give them a mix. Nothing's important, Pete. Cut off a packet, drop them on top of the table cards and shuffle some more. Just do it randomly without thinking, Peter. Shuffle, cut, shuffle some more. Cut some more off, drop them on top. You can take cards from the bottom, the middle, the top. I don't care. Just, as long as those cards are mixed. And yeah. square them up, because my dear old mum used to all say neat and sound, God bless her. That's lovely. And pick up the deck, turn it face down, and hold it as if you were going to deal in a game. Okay, okay that's lovely. Now, um, I'm going to work today to the rule of three. Rule one is what we've just done. Rule two of a card refresher training for you is uh, cutting and shuffling. So cut off about a third of the deck and table them to your left. And shuffle the cards in your hand. Don't even think about it, just do it. Cut off about half of those, put them to the right of the first packet. So you're doing everything here and shuffle the rest. There's absolutely nothing I can know about that deck right now. Is that true? Yep. And gather the packets up, say, from left to right. We can gather them up anyway, but, uh, but that's fine. That's lovely. Oh, by the way, have you ever had that experience where you can't get a song or a tune out of your head? You hear it on the radio, and for the rest of the day, you're humming it or thinking about it. Yeah, all the time. I don't know why, but maybe I just can't get the thought of a playing card out of my head. Now, maybe I should seek therapy, you know? You know, I mean, somebody once said, JC, I think you're psychoceramic. I said, what do you mean? He said, yeah, you're a crackpot. Anyway, that's enough of my problems. What I'm going to do is just take that card. I just, I, I, It's almost like singing a song. I just can't get it out of my head. Where is it? Ah, here it is. And I'm going to leave that in full view on the table and we'll dispose of the rest of the deck. Um, you pick the cards in two interesting ways, but now you're going to have some fun. I think all the serious stuff's over. So pick the deck up, hold it in dealing grip. And you're now going to do uh, what's called the crazy carousel mix. This is chaos face up and face down. This was actually developed by a professor at the University of Amsterdam called Leopold Schmetzers. He's a crazy guy. I don't know if you've ever heard of him. I think but, I know um, his brother. Oh, you know his brother. That's very good. And the crazy carousel mix, just push off a few cards face down, flip them face up on top. Now push off more than a few, spread down, and flip all of those over, the combined face up and face down. And we're going to eliminate cards along the way. So push off those face up cards, discard them, and do that again. Just push off a few cards, flip them face up, push off more than a few, Peter. flip those face up. Red cards, black cards, high and low. Push those face up ones off and drop them down. And the third time's a charm, so push off a few, flip them over, push off more than a few, and flip those over, creating chaos along the way. Mm -hmm. And deal two cards face down from the cards in your hand onto the table. And I'll tell you what, we are working to the rule of three. I want this to be as fair as possible. Shuffle that packet in your hand. Just for fun, spread that packet, take out any random card from anywhere. And drop it on the two on the table. Okay. That's lovely. You can discard the rest of the deck, Pete. Put them out of the frame, actually, Peter. Out of sight, out of mind, yeah? Yes. There's absolutely nothing I could know about those cards on the table. Remember at the beginning, you shuffled the deck, you gave the deck a few cuts, you then mixed face up onto face down, face down onto face up, eliminated cards, dealt a couple of random cards out, and then you shuffled the remaining cards you had left, you took the card out, and you dropped that on there. What I want you to do now, finally, Peter, is to pick up that face down packet and just mix it at the fingertips like this. Just mix it at the fingertips and stop on impulse and square up. I want you to flip that packet over like the page of a book into your hand. Okay, and deal that random card you've arrived at onto the table, please. The two of diamonds. Yeah. And show everybody at home what you could have arrived at, the other two cards. Uh, two of clubs and the ace of clubs. Not bad cards, but they're not the cards you arrive at, so they get discarded too. Out of sight, out of mind. 
Do you remember I said I just can't get the thought of a playing card out of my head these days? It's yeah. kind of sad, kind of true. But remember, you shuffled, you cut, you cut, shuffled face up onto face down, face down onto face up. Um, you dealt three random cards from the eliminated cards out. You mix those, you turn that packet over, and you arrive at the two of diamonds. Yeah. Well, that could be the ten of spades, it could be the four of hearts. Any card is possible. This card has been here since the very beginning. And there's a reason why I can't get it out of my head. Hold your card up, Peter. Because they are a perfect. Ooh. 